This is the sound card setup video. Okay, first of all, I'm going to assume that you have your sound card installed, your uh, operating system recognizes it, and it's uh, all installed right. You've installed Saw Studio, and when you open her up, and the first thing you do is go right up here to Options, Audio Driver Model, and make sure that Saw Studio is seeing your your card here. Now there's many different drivers here and basically what I'm saying is make sure that Saw Studio is using the right driver for your sound card. And you can do that. I know my sound card uses the ASIO protocol. That's what it calls for. And yours may use one of these or others. But I, since I, mine uses uh, the ASIO protocol, I'm going to click on that. And I have three selections for ASIO. And I'm going to select the Motu PCI ASIO because I have a Motu card. And if I go back here to driver model, I can go to ASIO driver setup. And for my card, it, it has this uh, configuration here to use. And I can select... Uh, to, to sample at 48. I can change the buffer sizes here. And if you're going to be using Saw Studio in live mode, you're going to want the 64 or 32-bit settings. And you can set these settings uh, according to your needs, your system, to make it run smoothly and configure the rest of uh, your card right there. Okay. Your, your card may have a different interface, but that's it's there that's what, what the way mine works and it's right there in the audio driver model and under s driver setup okay next you go back up to options audio driver or device setup click on that and a window opens up and saw studio recognizes my card now because I told it which uh, driver to use Motu PCI ASIO and it sees all my uh, inputs and outputs and if it, if they weren't there you could use the drop down menu to select them and of course you have those are the outs here's our here are the ins and in each in and out you have your buffer size and you can you can uh, adjust those as you you need to make your system run smoothly and here you have your access the other 20 or 12 tracks here see that both in and out both of them are working good so I say okay and now saw studio is ready to record through my sound card but I'm not done yet I need to go over here to file I need to go down to preferences file and I need to save as default so that the next time I open up Saw Studio it knows what settings I put in there and I don't have to reset up everything and of course maybe you have different setups and while I have you here I'll show you this if, if you have different setups for different cards and everything you can open up different preferences files to use and if you want to use this one or that one or you know so you can go through and set up all kinds of different stuff, save it in its own little preferences file, and it's there for instant recall whenever you need it. Okay? So just make sure you go to File, Preferences File, Save as Default. This way you don't have to go through everything we just did again. And that is the sound card setup video.